Welcome back. I said last time that we are going to uh, go back to Gen with the prison book. Uh, but I lied. That's, we're actually going to go somewhere else first. We do need to go into the expands though. The place we are going, and you might have guessed it, is Prison Island. Since we contacted the moiety, And retrieved our book. Maybe we should let Catherine know. Um, oh yeah, I need to go further down the ladder on this one. It's still not entirely clear to me if this expanse is the... Uh, the same as is seen from the Star Fisher. Since we cannot see the covering, it's definitely related. I also wonder if. Um, okay, we need that symbol. Oh, there it is. Nice and easy to get to from here. I still wonder if, like, the, uh... We are the right way around? Yes. I still wonder if the, uh... If the Expanse, like, protruding into Riven is just... A result of Gen's writing, or a result of the changes that Catherine made. They do seem to, uh, the original Starfishers seem to be a, a, a byproduct of the changes she wrote into the age, and um, I can't recall right now if it was intended or not. I think it might have been unintended. And um, maybe it because of the original instability of the age, or something that caused that to become worse over time, that would explain the breaches. It definitely seems like uh, Riven is destabilizing on more than just a... Uh, I do not remember being able to see the dome rotating so clearly. Is that a... Uh, something they changed in the patch? I guess it must be. Because I definitely do not remember seeing this like this. That's pretty cool. we could prevent it from closing automatically. Save us a lot of trouble. Yep, 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 yep this one's also marked. So makes sense. Since this is one that the Moiety probably used a lot. Yeah, it seems like the... Uh, like the age is unstable in more than just a... geological sense. I mean, obviously it is that, because we learned from Catherine's journal that Riven used to be one island that has split into five pieces. And they are drifting apart, which um, explains the uh, demise of the... Uh, of the maglev to this island. This island drifted too far away and probably just stretched further than the rail was long. It also kind of explains why none of the Maclevs go in 
a straight line. I bet they are meant to uh, accommodate a little bit of further drift. But obviously, since uh, Gen has the Starry Expanse now to get around, he did not care to fix this particular maglev. This island also sunk a bit, I guess. Or at least the maglev part of it did. But yeah, whatever the case may be, you know, some other dimension breaching through into yours tends not to be a good thing. I have a feeling that that's that the Rivenese may have more than just earthquakes to worry about. And I question again when it comes to his motives in uh, trying to rescue the villagers. Insofar as he even actually plans to do that, it's probably just going to be the people who are working for him, so he can continue to use them as slaves. Plus, I don't know if he's actually capable of saving them, because his uh, ages are all unstable. He said that even 233 is... Uh, I'm not entirely level when I'm up here. That is... weird. Um, even 233 is already uh, showing signs of instability, so wherever he takes them, they're just gonna have the same problem again. Just have to keep moving, I guess. Time is running out. You have to free me. The combination is hidden somewhere in Gen's outpost in age 233, so you'll have to trap him to get it. Okay, well, not any real comment on uh, me recovering the trap book, or the prison book, if she's even... Uh, Aware of the fact that we've done that. I don't know if the Moiety contacted her since then. And unfortunately, I can't talk still. I keep wanting to see if I can catch a glimpse of her from here, but I don't think you can. Um... But yeah, she does give you a little bit of a hint uh, in case you are... Not sure of what to do next and are just wandering around. She tells us what we were already planning to do, which is to go back to the 233rd age. I wonder if... This, th this doesn't seem to have any special properties. It just seems to be there to cast some light on the... ...on the totem. So... I don't think it is related to the book crystal. Wouldn't really make sense if it was. But yeah, even though she does not comment on... Um, on you meeting the moiety, she does give you a little bit of an extra hint. A little bit of extra dialogue, which of course I wanted to show you. And again, all stuff I never saw in my initial playthrough because, yeah, missed that whole area. Uh, 
Alright. Gotta open this one back up. Got it in one. Let's head back over to Temple Island. And we can only hope that... Uh, Gen has... Uh, left... his contraption powered so we can use the linking book without having to redo everything. Although that would be significantly easier this time since we already have access to all of the domes from inside the expanse. Catherine's journal suggested that... Uh, well, you can see it's been up here too, yeah. A little bit of a lighting glitch while loading, it seems. Um... Kevin's journal suggested that uh, he always leaves behind one of his acolytes to uh, turn everything back off, which we know he must have done after we... Uh... Hey! Butterfly. How did you get in here? I don't think I've seen that before. Either snuck in through the hole uh, we saw before in uh, Jungle Island, or hitched a ride on one of the rotating domes. I don't know. Alright, um, Temple Island is the dot in the middle. There it is. Surprising how easy that is uh, to move this. I could think that that platform would be would have some more heft to it. So I don't know if that is related to the weird gravity or just a game thing. Hopefully nobody turned um, the machine off. Hey. Somebody did refill the fire marbles. Wonder how often you can reuse a single set of fire marbles. If you can do that at all. I kind of really like the fact that they added in the rotating exterior as visible because it makes the inside and outside feel a little bit more connected. Let's check if this one is marked. Yes, it is. Alright, I'm going to assume they have all been marked then by the moiety. That's a reflection. It almost looks like somebody was standing behind that window there. No, that's definitely a reflection. All right. Don't scare me like that. Um, right. I'm gonna have to uh, flip this room around a few times. First to get away from here, and then to get back to where we need to go. Um, no, I think it's gonna be faster, or at least equally long, to do it all from here.
And yeah, you can't skip this animation, which I wouldn't do anyway in the Let's Play, but sometimes when you're moving back and forth, it's kind of annoying. And the original game, you uh, wouldn't see the rotating room from there, so it would cheat a little bit with how long it takes. Put this back in its original orientation. Apparently I'm just too far away from that button. There we go. While we're here... Um, let's take a look at the Beatles again. We now know quite a lot more about the events that transpired. From the journals we've read and places we've seen, so we can get a much clearer picture of what we're looking at. It is very annoying that I can't bring my cursor up here, so I can't point at things. But in the top left uh, we see the wood shredder from Crater Island Gen's hand at the top and we see the big boiler and a bunch of tree stumps so this is kind of showing the paper making process ending in a book that is being worshipped by Gen's acolytes wonder if the flames at the bottom are meant to be the Crater of Crater Island or something else. Still not sure about that. Um, I also took the liberty of looking up uh, what the writings in the in this room mean. Yeah, it's not impossible that the stranger learned Dunny in the time between Mist and Riven, or at least some, some Dunny. Um, this particular one says, The books. Our Lord again has blessed us by giving us the procedure to make the books. We thank our master for the privilege of manufacturing the books he uses. I cannot read it in actual Dunny. I just, <laughs> I just have the translation. Um, so yeah, that definitely seems to relate to... Uh, to these uh, tableaus we can see inside the beetles. What's the next one? All right, now we've made books. I'm probably not. I don't think I started with the right one to really go in chronological order, but uh, doesn't really matter. So now that we've made books, we uh, or again can write in them. Um, and create worlds. We see again being uh, depicted with a halo, signifying how he believes himself to be a god. I wonder if he had any ex exposure to Christian symbols at all, or I guess the halo is used elsewhere too. Um, but yeah, he creates everything, is what he believes anyway. Atrus disagrees, and the Mist fandom is still divided. Alright, then the next um, one says, The Ink. Our Lord Gen has blessed us by giving us the formula to make the ink. We thank our master for the privilege of manufacturing the ink he uses. So basically, the slaves are thanking... Again, for being slaves. Lovely. Yeah, ink hasn't really come up that much. Uh, we've seen these beetles, and they're clearly a part of the worshipping here, and they are the source of the, the ink. Butterflies provide invisible ink for the moiety, but the beetles provide the uh, special ink needed for the art of writing that Gen use.
Um, next we just see Gen being worshipped by the villagers, the Rivenese, with uh, a halo again and a book behind his head, showing both the sun and the moon at the same time. Which, I mean, it can happen in our world, I'm assuming it can happen uh, in Riven as well. We don't know, we've never seen night here. We don't even really know for sure that Riven has a moon. I do want to say that the phase that moon is in makes no sense. Unless it's the top right that's meant to be the lit part. But anyway. It's a depiction. Not meant to be astronomically accurate, I guess. I really like the detail on the wings here. Pretty nicely done. This one is a little bit more vague. Uh, we see some obvious references to bookmaking again on the on the right. Uh, these are actually Riven's guilds, some of which have been uh, mentioned in Gen's journal. Um, we have the builders on the left, then the educators. You can see them hiding, ha handing some writing to children. Um, the maintainers, um, who seem to be doing some fighting in the middle. Then the surveyors, with what we now know to be the uh, symbolic depiction of the five islands. And the bookmakers on the right. Then we have one final uh, piece of writing here. Uh, which says, Our Master, Our Lord Gen has blessed us with his presence. We dedicate our existence to our Master Gen, the creator and protector of our world. Praise Gen, the maker of worlds. As always with Gen, subtle it is not. And then the final one, which I guess would have actually made the most sense to start with. Um, we see what Gen is depicting as him defeating Atrus, casting him into the Starfisher. While in actual fact, we know that Atrus cast himself into the Starfisher with the mislinking book linking away at uh, the last second, causing the book to continue falling into that starry expanse of which he had only a fleeting glimpse. And then I guess it somehow made its way to us. This kind of depiction also kind of made it seems like Gen like split the earth open to to do all of this, and uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> he had nothing to do with that, although I'm sure he wants everyone to believe that he did. Um, the writing on the dome is another one that I managed to locate, is, uh, I believe it says the end of the world is near, of the end of this world is near, which, um, I guess it is. Just gotta say that the gold paint effect on these bricks looks very, very good. Okay, by the sound of things... Hmm. Okay. The book is still working, even though the machine actually looks off. So, I'm guessing that's a glitch. Which kind of also, um prevents me from showing you what I, uh... Combination is still input correctly, though. It prevents, you, prevents me from showing what I wanted to show, is that, yeah, that uh, device was shining a light on top of the, uh... 
of the book. And that makes it very clear that both uh, Gen's solution and the one that Catherine uses with the book window are based on light in this version. Which is uh, a change that I really like. Okay, let's hope it actually works. And let's hope Gen is willing to trust us and use the book. Well done. I was greatly relieved when I received word that you had recovered the book. I don't quite know how you managed it, but if I may. Thank you. Well, he did say he'd know if we'd succeeded. The question is, will he realize it is a trap? Ager said the code was very difficult to detect. Let's hope he is right. Perhaps it would be best if you went through first. Uh-oh. Although, actually, it is a one-man prison, so... We can safely use it. Because when he does, he will set us free. Hopefully, he will follow us through. Otherwise, we do have a problem. It worked! We did it! We have captured Gen. Can we see him? We cannot. Would have been kind of cool if they added that, but I guess they chose not to. Shouldn't Gen be suspicious that uh, uh, he couldn't see us through the linking panel? I'm not sure. Let's um, close that and put it away. We do not want to... Oh, okay. We do not want to uh, free Gen again. And, fortunately, we are outside of the cage. Because otherwise, we would also have had a problem. Things are going our way, fortunately. So, we are now in Gen's broom inside the 233rd age. With Gen safely out of the way, we need to focus on two more things. We still have to free Catherine and find a way to signal um, Atris, which Catherine said she may know how to do. Catherine also told us, uh, both in, his, in her note and in what she told us when we went back to Prison Islands, that 
The combination for unlocking her is somewhere here. Let's take a look around, shall we? This appears to be a desk. With the, he's drinking a nice cup of bone. I don't know, I'm assuming that's not a soup, but that he's just using the bone as a stir. Seems a bit uh, primitive, but I don't know. There's a linking book here, or probably a descriptive book by the size of it. It is not working, either because it is not powered or because it hasn't been written yet. We can't turn the pages to check fur. What number is on there? It's kind of hard to see. That is a 9 and a 10, so that's 235. So, where's the 234th age? Could be this one. That is, in fact, uh, 9 and 8. This is 233rd. He's keeping the descriptive book for this age here. We cannot mess with it, apparently. It seems to be locked. Dan is so paranoid that even in his own age, he's still locking things. Well, presumably he does have uh, his followers come here, because I doubt he built all of this himself. There's some other books here. I don't know if they're linking books or uh, just regular books. I don't know what they say either. Anyway, still haven't found 234. This thing we actually saw before in his office on uh, Riven, and we saw him smoke it in when we came here first time. It is his pipe. This I'm not quite sure of what it is. That's a pen in a holder. And over here we have a beetle-shaped inkwell. Pretty cool looking thing. I actually have that from one of the, uh, from the, I think it was the Mist book Kickstarter that had that as a reward. Kind of nicely symbolic using the source of the ink as your ink holder. Interesting looking place. Weirdly shaped mountains. They look like they have been eroded quite a lot. And those birds almost look like they're swimming in the air more than um, than flying. It's a very stark looking world, very barren. Both Atris and Catherine have blamed Gen's writing style for the problems with his ages, and um, if you've read the Mist books, you know that what Gen actually does to write ages is copy and paste sections from other books that he's found into his own books, and then deleting symbols from those sections that he thinks are superfluous not realizing how those symbols balance each other out to create the balance that an age requires. Um, since he didn't have access to any descriptive books to copy from, he must have just gone by memory and written a bunch of stuff that he could remember, and this was the end result, and it sure looks like that's what he did. Another look to bookshelf. Probably just more blank books ready for him to try when, you know, 234th age inevitably fails.
Uh, we saw him turn this on to power... the linking book back to Riven. Which still works, so that's good. I assume this is also fire marble powered, but... I'm not sure. He does have fire marbles here. Here we can clearly see, though, how it seems to be light. And he uses some kind of focal lens here. Which he did not in the original version. Maybe that's why this one can be so much smaller. Um, there's a lower level here, but let's continue up here first. What does this do? Retracts the cage. Good, so... We don't have to worry about that um, if we link out and want to come back. So I don't think the game lets you use the linking book from outside of the cage while it's still up. Because in case you didn't find everything you need, you'd uh, have a problem. this thing. Oh, we can spin this. Some kind of music player. Exactly a jaunty tune, kind of haunting. Okay, interesting. I wonder who's playing here, if it's Ken himself or... Uh, a recording that he brought. Does this accomplish anything? Maybe it changes the tune? if that's the same or just very similar. Alright. Don't quite know. Hillock has an easter egg they should have put the K 
Kadish Gallery music in here. It would have been fun. Um, let's see. I think we already saw this when we were first here. Gen has some already prepared power marbles with him. Use either for the machine here or for when he comes back to uh, Riven and uses them there. Presumably he has his men prepare those for him. Same people who refilled it. And then we have this door. Weird looking key. Almost like we need a Vorlber key. And we can open it. Yes, just like we could explore Tay in a little bit more detail, we can now go outside. Weird satellite dish on top of the building. Oh, that's the bell, I guess, that uh, calls him over when he was outside the first time we linked in. Second time he was waiting behind us. Bit of a jump scare. But yes, we get to go outside now. And again, the first time I played it, I didn't realize <laughs> that you could do this because, yeah, some of the interactions in VR are a little bit glitchy sometimes and I just couldn't get the door to open, so I thought you couldn't. I did actually see a glimpse of the outside because uh, the second time I came back to Ged, the game decided to catapult me out of the cage through the roof of the building and land me over there where you can't actually get to normally. Um, and then I was stuck looking at Gen talking to an empty cage through the window. Where I could not interact with the book, so then he was disappointed that I wouldn't use it and left. And then I was stuck there, because just like I can't go there, I couldn't leave there either. So I had to reload and do that again. So that kind of made me think, like, oh, hey, there, uh, there is actual outside detail, so you could probably go outside. But then I really just couldn't get that door open. Leaving me confused until I found out later that, yes, you are supposed to go outside. That water looks... I don't know if it's just because of the sky, or if it's... Yeah, probably just the sky. Let's see what we can find out here. Gen was wearing goggles when he went out here, but uh, that's because the Dunny have very sensitive eyes to light, having lived underground for the past 10,000 years. We have no such problems. Oh. Some, um... Rivenese graves. Presumably people who died helping Gen build everything on this new age. Well, I guess he was nice enough to let him put this here, although... No actual totem, just a drawing of one. They didn't bring any invisible ink with them. That would have been way too risky. <laughs> Anyway, um... Hmm. Looks like Gen is, uh, barbecuing one of these weird fish birds. This dish must channel the sunlight to cook the bird. Is that what he was doing out here? I bet that's not just what he was doing out here. Most likely he's probably trying to, like, take notes of the age and how it compares to what he wrote um, to try and see, you know, why it's already unstable and how he could do better for a future age. Because now that he doesn't have books to copy from, he's going to have to do that the hard way and I doubt he's very good at that. Like they carved a staircase through the rock here. 
another fire pit. And he built a throne. He had the Rivenies built a throne for him, for his audience of no one, just so he could watch the sunset. Okay. Well, we already knew he was uh, a bit narcissistic, but uh, that definitely confirms it. Not open this. Presumably, you can put coal or something in there, or I don't know. Looks like he was using this to burn books. And he's using the Rivenies grave markers as kindling. The more I learn about this guy, the less I like him. What is this then? A. Barely functional book. Not functional enough to actually link. But it did provide a brief glimpse of some place. Of course, we've addressed the brief glimpses of Tay and this age that we couldn't explain further, so we'll just replace them with new things that we can't explore. Huh. What does that say? It's kind of really hard to tell, but I do believe it is, in fact, the 234th age that Gen apparently gave up on. I wonder if it is because it wasn't working, or if he did this after he got the... Uh, Uh, the prison book from us, thinking like, well, I don't need this anymore. That is the kind of callousness I would expect from him. Doesn't look like there's anything else out here. Certainly no sign of... the... Um, combination we need. Which logically means it must be down that ladder somewhere. And we will check that out in the next video.